Hey guys, another episode from Ningbo. Uh, we're at an interesting place. It's a new market here in Ningbo. It's one of the most modern markets in China. It's like a, an interesting modern take on the traditional Chinese Chinese seafood and uh, vegetable and meat market. Eva, you like the crabs? Yeah. Typically, when you come to one of these markets, the first thing you're hit with is the pungent smell of raw meats and uh, raw fish. And that's the first thing you recognize about this one. It's a little bit more pleasing to the nose. Hello. 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 Oh, what are these? Look at these fish, honey. They're flat. Flat fish. Whoop! Wow, right? Look at this fish. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why is it? You can show both of Hello. The uh, fish was fighting with daddy. The fish won. Very strong, right? Very strong. So here you have like fish of every variety. You got a seafood section. Yeah, you want to buy some crab, honey? Big crab or crab? Big crab or little crab? You can buy big crab. Yeah, I don't like those. Do you like these ones? I don't know. This is very light. Yeah, very. Nipponi and I. This is all Ningbo local. It's seafood but salty. Salt. All from Ningbo. Local. Ningbo style. Yeah. We're so happy. Yeah, like preserved, preserved. Uh, Fish. You got a lot of like local Ningbo dishes. The fish is locally sourced from probably right outside of Beilun in the ocean or, or nearby. And they're broken into different sections. For example, this area here is all seafood. And then you've got this area here over here is all vegetables. And then you have poultry and meat over there. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, ma. Uh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the cool thing about this place is that there's monitors above every section. So for example, this lady here, her information is up on the screen here. So you can see a little story about where her food comes from on the digital display. It tells a little bit about her. Oh, our stuff is the freshest stuff in town. Sourced from Yinjo, blah, blah, blah. Like for example, this lady working the vegetables here. That's her. What does it say about her on the, on the display? The promise. Promise high quality. And the cool thing here is that you don't even need cash. Everything here has a, you, uh, uh, a code. You can use your phone and you just boom, boom. I want that, boom. I want that, boom. Every place. Baby bamboo. If you haven't eaten bamboo before, hello. <laughs> if you haven't eaten bamboo before, if you can catch it when it's small, still in the ground, it's still pretty soft. You can chop it up and cook it before it gets too big and turns into like solid wood that you can build scaffolding out of. At that point in time, it's not very edible. But if you can catch it young, if you can catch it young, it's pretty good. What are you buying, hon? Yeah, I really like. I like this one. <laughs> I've been to all manner of uh, markets like this, and most of the time the floor is sopping wet with fish and meat juices. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit more chaotic. This place is like really clean, really modern. Hello. And, uh, and you get the same stuff, 
a little bit higher quality, you can use your technology a little bit more to see who the people are, see who, see who the store owners are. Hello. And everybody's pretty nice here too. Maybe it's because it's not too busy. Sometimes it gets so busy, people are like, next, next, next. Hello. This is pork to make dumplings. And then uh, dofu wrapped pork. Dofu pea pork. Tofu pea is tofu. You tofu want ribs. So you want ribs? Uh, ribs. You want ribs. How you want to cook the ribs? Um, just with the sauce. I don't know. Soy sauce. Yeah. And this is this is liver, right? No, no, that's uh, kidneys, right? The kidney. This is liver. Liver. And what is this? Fat. Fat. Just fat. Fat too. Is Actually, that lard? Buy one of this. What is it for? Just lard? Just huh? pig fat? Yeah. You can see everything here is nice and clean. <laughs> really clean. The place hasn't even filled up yet. Actually, there are some areas here that are still open. It just opened. How long has this place been open on? Just a Two month? No. Two weeks? 28 today. Last month. This is sort of a Ningbo uh, specialty, his Niengao. Honey, what is this? What is this? What is this, honey? Here, lift her up, see if she can see. What is this, honey? Niengao. Niengao. You like Niengao? Yeah. Yeah. Niengao is like compressed rice. I have a video about making Niengao. Mm -hmm. I'll link it to this video. You know, do you want this? It's pretty awesome. I like it. Hello. No, 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 no. No, no? She doesn't want it? She knows what she wants. You want some chickens? If you've never had it, black chicken is actually very good. It's a different type of chicken. Oftentimes they make chicken soup out of it. It's very tasty. I don't know if uh, Eva's more uh, American or more Chinese. In some ways, she's very Chinese. In other ways, she takes after me. Hello. Good, good. Cuttlefish. And see, everybody has a QR code to buy everything. Yes. You want more? Oh, it's good, it's good. Jayo, Jayo. More of these, what are these, like slim flounders? Normally, flounder are very big, right? This one is skinny. Yes. Yeah, it's different. It's different. Yeah. I don't know uh, English name. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. I don't know. <laughs> These are always interesting. These are some fish I've, uh, I've are really popular here in China. It looks like they come from the deep ocean. They look like uh, the fish that you might find at super super depths under the ocean. I don't know. And then these are these are these are cuttlefish. When you pull them from the ocean, you see the black. That's the ink that they spray when they're caught. Thank you. So uh, they, they release the ink, and sometimes they leave the ink on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. <laughs> he said he uh, come out on the stand uh, English. Oh, so. make one, make one, make one. This is Chinese. Food. Yeah. 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 Food. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, you have uh, yeah. ra raise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think both Nima Hanshi want chish. Yeah, very thick, very thick. <laughs> and then these are a uh, big flounder. So this is like uh, normally what you'd see with a flounder. You could see the eye moving over to be on the other side of the face. Yeah, yeah they go like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my favorite areas actually are the fish areas because there's so many unique things. You know, I, I have the fish tank, so a lot of this stuff I've, I've kept in my fish tank. This is very interesting. Here you have a bunch of shellfish and crabs. patience for these types of crabs. The meat is so small. I can never I can never justify taking the meat out of that little animal to eat it. The Chinese love love to suck the meat out of the little arms. And these mantis shrimp I always find interesting. They're so unique. 
In a fish tank, if you had this mantis shrimp, he could extend his arms so fast that he could break glass. They're one of the fastest, fastest punching animals in the world. Pretty crazy. Pretty cool. Interesting place. And you know when you buy your vegetables here, they're not going to be like pre-packaged, sitting, transferred, driven over long distances. They are fresh, ready to go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There's also a place that Eva likes the most, pizza place. She always gets a pizza from the outside area here. So we buy in the market and then we go get Eva her pizza. She's like addicted to pizza. That's another thing that's my American blood has given her the desire for pizza. What is that? What is that, honey? Pizza. You like pizza? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Pizza. Okay, we okay go let's go. And then give you one pizza, okay? Anyways, just a quick look at a unique modern market, modern food market in uh, in Ningbo. I think you're going to see a lot more markets like that growing in China, having those digital displays. Everything can be bought on the phone. You didn't pull your credit card out for anything, right? It was totally done with your phone. Uh, before I come here, charge my phone for 15 minutes to make sure my phone has. Yeah. yeah, that's the worst thing that you can worry about here is if your phone runs out of battery. 